After arrest and before trial comes jail. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. One of the special uh, advantages to working down here is that while you work closely with your coworkers, you actually develop a rapport and a bond with outside agencies. And you find there's officers that come in regularly, and they've helped us out in situations, and we help them out in situations. If something bad happens, they know they can count on us, and we know we can count on them. Rodney was brought in uh, as intoxicated and combative prisoner. Hold on. Hold on. Yep. Okay, you're going to be cooperative? Yep. You're not going to fight? Nope. All right. OK. I know, I'm ready. All right. Secure your weapon, you can park your weapon. Okay. What's your name? Don't worry about it. You don't want to tell us your name? No. Okay. Relax, relax. I want you to take a seat. No, no, you take a seat. Can I put my this somewhere while you can be safe? At least. Why are you looking at me as a criminal? I ain't a criminal. Ask your question, who's the real criminal? I'm sitting here as a slave. Hey, who's that? Are these guys any promise? I'm happy. OK. We're going to take you. You can lay down on the bed. What for? Because you wanted to. What did I do wrong? <laughs> All right. I'm just asking what did I do wrong? What did I do wrong? Hey. That's my right, man. What did I do wrong? Hey, man, what did I do wrong? Ah, hey, that's portion of At least tell me. That's my. You're going to have to sharpen your knife. Force my. Rodney, you need to relax. I'm telling you. You need to relax. No, I'm out. I press charges, but at least. Really? Because I'm going to press charges on you for assaulting an officer. I'm about telling that. you to force my. At least downwards. But you're not. Being a cooperative. Oh, what's wrong with you guys, man? I'm telling you guys. All right, man. Three, two, one. I'm putting charges right now. Oh, this is all bull, man. This is you guys, man. I'm telling you. Oh, oh, there's a criminal felony charge. Felony charges, you got to kiss well, my ass. Back you yeah, felony charges, you got to ah! kiss Felony charges. What charges of what? What the did I do wrong? You got looking at me, there's no challenge, charge. Charge. What the did I do wrong, man? It's all right here, man. What did I do wrong? I am relaxed. Take him in. What did I do wrong? I am leaning for it. What did I do wrong? Mario, you got the. Oh, what? What am I looking at? Okay, go. He was like this, and I came to start searching, and his elbow was right here. So as I went on his, I went, poof, I felt some, so I pushed it right back in. Hey, Rodney. Stop kicking the door. Back up. Stop kicking the door. I love America. I understand. What did I do wrong? Well, you're just drunk. No, I'm not drunk. What did they do America wrong? How come they're in jail? So why are you so angry? I'm not angry. I'm trying to... Right. You're trying to what? Dirt. Sounds like you got a lot of stuff going on. You need to try to lay down and go to sleep for a little bit, OK, man? We'll come back in and check on you here in a little bit, all right, Rodney? What did I do wrong? What did I do wrong? As intoxicated and combative prisoner, during the intake search, we took some precautions to uh, ensure the safety of the officers. And even with multiple officers around, it actually happened that one of our officers was elbowed in the face by Rodney. We'll give him an opportunity to sober up and then we'll check on him in a little while and see if he'll cooperate with nurse checks and maybe get him out. 
It looks like Rodney's finally fallen asleep, uh, which should give him an opportunity to get some of the effects of the alcohol through his system. We'll give him an opportunity to sleep for a little bit, and then a couple hours, we'll have our nurses go and check him. As long as he cooperates with those nurse checks, we'll be able to get him out and get him through the booking process. There's just as many females as there are males coming into Sarasota County Jail. When they do come in, their crimes are just as volatile and just as dangerous. They can be just as combative as the men and actually more unpredictable than the men are. So the women are kind of hard to work with. I'm sorry, I'm sure. Are you drinking today? Yes. Just a few beers. Oh, a few beers. Yeah, we went to the bar and paid for drinks. You, you smell of alcohol a lot. Yeah, and I paid for it, too, ma'am. I guess so. Can we get your belt? Uh, you know? All right, walk that way. All right, sir. Straight ahead. Your husband? My boyfriend. All right. We're going to keep them separate. Yeah, they're both being charged with misdemeanor battery. That's nice. Injured in any way? Huh? No injuries? No. Just try and ignore them. Have a seat over there on that stool. We all know you both love each other, so when you go on the other side, no yelling, no talking, all right? So what happened today? You were at the bar. And we left. But we paid for our drinks. And then they jumped Mike, and then I went to, like, save him. I mean, I, I wasn't going to let anyone, like, kick his ass for nothing, because we paid for our drinks. We did. And then there's a fight at the bar. Five guys jumped on him. We were paying for it all along. How are you? Stay away from the bars. Drink at home. Go over there where it says, inmate shower. So does your girlfriend usually come in to save you when you get yourself in situations like that? I didn't get myself in situation. I got jumped for no reason. What happened was they were at Madison's, and he uh, he tried to take a bottle of Stoli, and they caught him because he, like, stuck it between his legs. They took the bottle, so then he swung on the bartender and punched the bartender in the side of the head, and then she came from behind and then punched the bartender in the back of the head. I didn't take that bottle of liquor. Yeah. I paid for my tap the whole night. So when you sat down, at your table, there's a ball of Stoli just sitting right under the table. You you know I pay for one? my tabs. I know you pay for your tab. I'm not saying you didn't pay your tab. I'm saying you try, I'm, you're not getting charged with trying to take a ball of Stoli. You're getting charged with uh, punching a bartender. I was on the ground. How did I punch a bartender? You know, I, I, I have a hard time believing you because initially you said you didn't do anything and it, nothing happened. I and then we found out that all this happened. I got tapped right, sir. and thrown to the ground. Because you punched a bartender. Let's go ahead and put you on two computer intake right here. I right, you have a couple questions to ask you. We paid for our drink. They didn't steal vodka and... No, oh, they jumped him. Mike and I had to, like, protect him. Do you think he wanted your protection? Because, you know, manly things. I would do that for anybody. I'm going to for you. I would do that oh, for anybody. Oh, thanks. You're not, no one's going to hurt someone that I'm with. Straight back over there, have a seat on the middle stool. They jumped him. They were kicking his ass. He doesn't have a mark on him, so they were not kicking his ass too bad. Yeah, especially because I jumped on them. Because so it was all you. You saved the day. I always do. <laughs> well, the proof is the law, right? Because that's all it is. It's you not know, what you know. It's what you can prove, right? This is misdemeanor battery instead of felony battery, though. It's all right. It's all good. Come on, over here. I'll put her in holding. You can take him. All right. Go ahead and stand up, Mike. I'm disappointed in you, sir. That's her reaction, not mine, though. She your girlfriend? Yes, sir. So whose responsibility? She's not my responsibility. You know you've been here at least 10 times, right? At least 20. You should know the signs. 10. Come over here, face my computer. You know why I'm not happy, right? Yeah, I know. How am I ever going to get to clean pools if you guys keep coming back in here? 
Do something to jump me, man. Let's pretend that you're all innocent. Do you not know when somebody's being aggressive towards you? Yeah. Why didn't you walk away? I tried to walk away. You tried to walk away, both thumbs. Dude, tackled me. Tackled you. So if you saw something like that coming, you should have called us. That's what we get paid for. And instead, you're right back in here. Go ahead, and you're going to have a seat over there, third, fourth row. All right, behave yourself while you're here, Michael. All right? Don't, don't be a problem here. Obviously, Michael's been here before. Him and his girlfriend ended up coming into jail tonight, but she's been cooperative. I'd like to see if we can't pull her out, get her out here. All right. Thank you, Just, hold, Michael, go sit down. <laughs> sit. What's going on, sir? We are going to bring you out here so you can use the phone and everything like that, OK? I don't want to have to discuss how to be an adult with you, all right? That's fine. I understand, okay. sir. I understand. You've had a chance to think about what's going on, so I was wondering, would you do anything different? I'm not into breaking the law. I don't do that, you know? Huh. I, I have four kids. I'm, I'm 50. I don't do that. It seems like you guys got each other's back, so you guys might become a stronger couple for this. So I wish you the best well, of luck. We've been a couple for six and a half years. I mean, it's not like, you know. You put up with him for six and a half years? Yes. You're braver than I am, ma'am. Hey, zombie, what do you mean All by right. that, zombie? Go ahead and step out here. Have a seat on this front row, ma'am. All right, behave yourself. Michael and Gabriella came in for the charge of battery. So they are going to be spending the evening in here together, which to me doesn't sound like a very romantic evening for a couple to have. my country, no big deal. <laughs> it's gonna be awesome. What branch were you in? <laughs> in the army. You are right now? Yeah. I got drill tomorrow. So no, I don't think you do. I can't believe this. Seriously, I love seeing my friends die for you. And then I'm in this situation where I went to a movie and I was drunk. What's his charge? Harassment. Harassment. Okay, so you're gonna yeah. 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 a little bit. We're gonna process yeah. you. Yeah, about yeah. four or five hours, as long as your prints clear. <laughs> I can't hey, believe it. Your hands off. Okay. I you serve your goddamn country. So. All right, settle down. Pray for it. The paper here. in here is everything. Throw your paper at the end of the counter. Throw your paper in the garbage can and have a seat. And you need to sit quiet for us, okay? I can't believe this. Is there is it because I went to a movie? The call came out. It was a drunk guy fighting with security in the Lloyd Cinemas. So we just show up. They're already outside. And it's actually pretty calm when we get there. But him and three other witnesses said that uh, he was trying to beat up the, the security guard. Teacher. Teacher. Excuse me, teacher. I go to the bathroom. <laughs> Yes, ma'am. Uh, yeah. Yes, ma'am. Oh, yeah. Is it okay if I'm called? I said, come with me, right? Oh, yeah. I just want to make sure. You look like you're intelligent, man. You can follow my direction. Oh, Take your shoes off. Have to go back. All right. Take your shoes off. All right. There's a restroom and have a seat. Oh, look. I can bring it. I was totally intoxicated. Having trouble keeping quiet, very uh, attention orientated. So I decided maybe put him into a side room, let him sober up for a little bit. It's good because I was going to do it. I'm not going to have that. I tell you. Please help me. What are you doing? Please. The key for you to get out of there is to sit there and be quiet. It's too much. 
No, it is. <laughs> to have done a 180. Yes, ma'am. Do you have to get through the entire process like everybody else? I, this this little tiny area is really... No, we'll get you through, but that, that four loco or whatever you drink, yeah. it messes with you big time. Yeah. Okay, we're going to get you through this process, and I don't want to hear anything from you. All right. Because you acted like a little kid. You want to do it now? Yes, ma'am. Right there. You finally calmed down and listened to the voice of reason, I guess. I think he just tried all the stops that he's tried in his life to get attention and to get what he wanted and realized it wasn't working here. That was a temper tantrum, and he has mom tattooed on his arm in bright red, and all the rest <laughs> of his tattoos are in black. So maybe his mother used to listen when he had negative behavior like that. I don't know, but it wasn't working for me. Actually, I do, and then I got transported. What do you, uh, what do you transport? What I do you transport involved? people back and forth. Private residents who need transportation? Yeah, I'm head of security. But I just had to try to get it Boy, that was embarrassing, huh? Kind of. <laughs> <laughs> Works out. Things happen, right? Yeah, I guess they do. Keep up with your payments. Can't mess around. Big brother gets it, gets it in the end. Yeah, I'll be fine. But man, it's been years work. since I've been to jail. So I'm just going to get up in here, eat some bologna sandwiches, drink some warm milk, and see what happens. <laughs> OK, man. All right, good luck. Thank you. Good right, luck. Thanks. Let's do it. That was an interesting pickup. Guy coming in in uniform. What's the story behind him? Driving down the street, talking on his cell phone. Since that new law <laughs> came into effect in October, so yep, yep, I figured yep. I'd have a little chat with him. When I ran his uh, driver's license, he came back with eight outstanding traffic warrants that he hasn't taken care of. Eight outstanding and interesting. He's the head of a transportation company who does private transportation, and there he is breaking all the rules. And most of his warrants are for driving without valid license, too, so I wow. five out of the eight. Another interesting Las Vegas story. Lawrence! Come on in, sir. Are you finished with that? No, it's some cookies in here, man. I'm not even eating yet. Follow the lobbyists around here. So, Lawrence, you, you are the manager of a transportation company. I was. <laughs> and you're driving down the road, talking on a cell phone, and then you have a bevy of traffic violations that are deep into the system. Yeah, traffic ticket, I didn't Yes, pay. yes. So do you think there's going to be a problem with you being employed with this agency? Uh, I don't know. How, many, I mean, how long have you been with them? For a while, I'm sure. But still, going to jail never looks good, right? I think it'll be fine. Though. Let's check his charges. Look at that, it's a two-pager, even. All traffic. You have, you have set it up well. Oh, yeah. I'm a criminal. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm a thug. Yeah, this is this is like a month's salary here. Oh, man. <laughs> so or one good tip. Wow, that's too it's much. Like I'm hoping somebody bails me out, but I don't think nobody likes me that much. So I might have to wait to see so the judge So love could be a problem. Yeah. <laughs> nobody really likes me. OK. Yeah. I don't know why. You got a good personality. <laughs> I'm kind of feeling like I like you. What are your plans when you leave here? Uh, I'm probably going to go cook. I'm going to go eat. 
go hang out with my girlfriend. So the question is, does she love you enough to take care of that veil? <laughs> That's what we're going to find out, we'll right? Find out. <laughs> All right, man. Good luck, Lawrence. We'll All talk right. to you soon. Come on this way, sir. Lawrence has a good sense of humor. Seems like a good guy. Just got caught up in a little silliness that let his situation get out of control. I think he'll get through this relatively unscathed. I fear, though, his future employment could be a little questionable, but hopefully for him it will work out. After arrest and before trial comes jail. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. During my career as a corrections officer, I see some pretty strange things. I've seen prisoners bite their fingers off. I've seen some pretty outlandish fights that have sent prisoners to the hospital. You never know what your day is going to be like in this career until you get to work. Use drugs? I do not need a drug. Make it a drug. Be a good man. Do I look like I'm on drugs? I'm a alcohol. No, I'm not for sure. Shut up. Shut up. Sounds like one of our female prisoners is getting rowdy with some of the other prisoners on the bench. Let me go see what's going on. I don't want to go. Well, let's get done here first. I'm gonna, okay, well, okay, well, hold on until we get done. This is what happens when okay, you're Okay, pay attention girl. to what I'm saying, OK, Danielle? Yeah. Settle down, Danielle. We'll okay. get you to a restroom. Yeah, I have to pee. Have you been drinking in the last 24 hours, Danielle? Yes, I have. OK, what have you drunk? Like a pint of whiskey. Big okay. deal. What are you here for, Danielle? Public in talks. Okay. Drink it on my own front lawn. Okay, why don't you take off the rest of your rings and your watch? This one's gonna be tricky. Mmm. Mmm. Okay, it's coming. It's coming. Mm. It's almost there. Oh, there it is. Okay, right. and then you have a couple piercings in here. Yep, face. I have an eyebrow. Yep, get them. Uh, do it. The boogers hanging on it. I don't know. <clears throat> I, I don't know. I can't. Okay. Well, I have gloves, so. You want the sprayer? Yeah, I think so. Here you go. Go to work. How? They gone? You know what? Let's just leave it. You know what? I've got it, though. You got it? Yep. Oh, okay. My fingernails did the trick better oh, than the spreaders. Okay. There we go. All right. Good. Take that one out. I'd rather you do it. Ugh. You're not the first one that's had to do this. That's what you get for having all those piercings, huh? No, that's what you get for being drunk in public. Be humiliated. Okay, now turn around. Put your back on the mat. Okay, take your pinkies. Put them in your mouth. Hook them out. Danielle, pinkies. <laughs> there you go. We're gonna go up. Down. <laughs> down. <laughs> Okay. Okay, Danielle, open your mouth. Lift up your tongue. Okay. All right. Okay. Come Let's with me. Go. Also, okay, don't be moving around, okay? Okay. All right, Danielle, go in there and take a nap, all right? All right, good night. See you in a few hours. All right. We're going to leave Danielle in the P cell for uh, a few hours at least. She is very intoxicated. She calmed down a lot from when she was out on the bench. I think she'll be all right in a few hours. So we're going to check on Danielle, see if she's sobered up here. Danielle. Danielle. Come here. We got to have the nurses check you real quick, OK? 
Do I look better after every hour? Senor, are you just told to sit drinking or using drugs tonight? Drinking. Okay, do you drink all the time or just on occasion? Oh, all the time. Do you have problems when you don't drink? Yeah. What happens? <laughs> okay, calm down. Okay. Can you drink it first? Yeah. Um, what's here? They're blue. Blue. Uh, can I pick? No. no. Blue is what you oh. Okay, drink as much as you can right Blue's now. Blue's a good stuff. All right, come on, hurry, Daniel. You got to drink it right now. Oh, yeah. I have to drink it in front of you? I yeah, can't take yeah. it in and sit down yeah. and... Oh. Relax. No, it's smearing off, so let's go. Here we go. All right, Daniel. Awesome. How was that? All right, go ahead and go to sleep. Uh, Daniel, go in there. She's still way too drunk to come out. I'm sure a couple hours of rest, a few more Gatorades. She'll be like a totally different person. We'll be able to get her through the process. Hopefully get her released. We can have several things that are jumping off at one time down here in booking, but that's what we go through training for. That's pretty much when it kicks in. Main job is to keep everybody safe and to get everyone processed through. Listen up. All right, I'm going to take the handcuffs off. Put your hands up on the wall, OK? So how did the cops even come in contact? On trumped up charges. What kind of trumped up charges? The misuse of 911. I already sat in here already. Keep your hands up there. Keep your hands up there. I already sat in here for it. So what'd you do tonight? Was it a warrant or what? That's what they said. So what happened to your face? Me and my cousin got into a fight. Got in a fight at the house? Well, have a medical look at that. They already did. Our medical. Don't here. touch it. I'm not touching okay. it. Go around, go on this third aisle. Here, turn around. Go see medical. No, I don't want to see medical. Oh, you, you got to see medical. No, just, just don't be in your dungeon. Okay. Our dungeon's broke tonight. Walk down that way. Go see medical. No, I refuse. I refuse. Well, we, OK, we got to ask you a question then. All right. Do you want to hurt yourself? Yes, I do. Oh, come on over here. No, 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 I will do it. See. I hurt myself. Well, I'm, I'm not going to let you hurt yourself. We gotta get I will. The, we got to get the camera. Oh, right. give me a break. What, are you going to pull your teeth out? Yes. Let's bring him over here. Bring him in there, guys. Here. here. Gonna, the cuffs. We'll use my cuffs. You don't want to hurt yourself. Yes, I do. Oh, so we have a guy who's just uh, acting the fool. He, uh, he's saying he wants to hurt himself now, and he's uh, you know, trying to bite his fingers. Why are you doing this? Because I want to. Don't get off. I like to. I like to. I want to. Oh, oh, watch, watch, don't Stop you? Don't Face forward. Face forward. Oh, no, no, don't do that. Stop no. resisting, and we won't have to do this by force. All right, come on, have a seat. Tuck your hands down. Oh, don't do it. Don't do it. Good. Don't do it. No, don't do that. All right. Now, sometimes you gotta, uh, gotta protect these people from themselves, unfortunately. It sounds like he's got some sort of a mental crisis going on. Cops are idiots. They're idiots. Show me that you can be quiet for 20 minutes, and I'll come get you. Yeah, I got a loss. All right. Separate your feet. She was booked in as a Jane Doe. I'm not Jane Doe. My name is Sherelle. If you would have ran my car, okay. you dummy. We're going. So I'm not Jane Doe. Check all that and we'll, dumb we'll change ass. the name. Shut up. Thank you. All right, let's take our medical. Hurry up. I'm ready to lay down. You dummy. Come on, my car didn't register. I wish I would have known that. Well, I was riding around with no ID. My blood pressure up right now, dummy. Run my car, you dummy. <laughs> He said, I can't find you. Sorry. You ain't gonna never find me. That's why I'm carrying your ID. And you see my wallet? It had nothing in there, huh? Stupid. Have a seat. Go ahead and have a seat. I'll talk to you in a little bit. A uh, citizen flagged me down, so there were some children in a vehicle. And uh, I went and checked on a, there was like a blue Nissan sitting in the parking lot with the windows partially down. I looked in the back seat, and then, sure enough, there's a little baby sitting in an infant seat in the back. And then there's a eight-year-old child just sitting there crying. He said his mom went in to get some CDs. You know, I, I, it How wasn't hot an is emergency. it outside it right now? 
It, I had dispatch check and it was 95 degrees outside. It was over 20 minutes and she just left these kids in the car, so just two counts of child endangerment. Anthony, we gotta take you out of the chair. Are you gonna scream and yell? No. You gotta calm down, man, because if you don't calm down, we can't take you out of the chair. All right. We're gonna take you out. You need to be nice. Oh, yeah, absolutely. All right, I know. I'm beautiful. All right. We're gonna take you out and let you go lay down in there, okay? Oh, beautiful. That works? Oh, right. Yeah, that works fine. Here, stand up. All right, step on in. We'll come wake you up for breakfast. You calm now? Yes, ma'am. This is good. The babies are okay? Yeah. They all right. They so. not all right, because mama right here. I mean, they daddy got them. They oh, right. so yeah, they, they did have somebody pick right them up? Yeah, all that. So you got to realize it's hot out there. We in triple digits, even at nighttime. So people going to be watching. You can't you know just what? leave them. It yeah. was cool to me. Yeah. But probably, you know. Lesson learned. Hey, point you know. taken. We, you know, lesson learned, though, right? Exactly. Hey, just stay calm the way you have been. Yes, ma'am. OK. Y'all heard that, right? Yeah. OK. She seems to be OK. A good thing somebody, a good citizen, was able to point out those children were in a car, because this is Vegas, and it gets extremely hot. The sun goes down, but the heat does not go away. So what'd you do tonight? Me and my cousin got into a little fight. Metro pulled up on us. Mm -hmm. They were in both of us. He didn't come to jail, no. just you. Yeah, he, he's in jail, too. Oh, he's here, too. I'm going to talk to a lawyer. It's not the guy that arrested you, fault. When they come and stop you on the street, if you show an active warrant, he's got to bring you to jail. But they, but it should, well, but it should not be. I was here. I understand that. I did, I did my time here. I understand that. Just go through the process like everybody else, and you'll be out of here probably by this afternoon. All right? Take a nap. We'll wake All you up right. for breakfast. He had an active warrant, so they brought him to jail. And uh, he's not too happy about that, apparently. So um, what could have been a nice, easy stay in jail turned into well, the mess that we had tonight. I see uncooperative people every time I come to work. The vast majority of people go, man, I didn't do it, I didn't do it, I didn't do it. And then nine times out of 10, I'll see them up in the housing units later, and then they'll start telling me other pieces of their story. And I'm like, well, you didn't tell me that when you were on the booking counter. And then um, there's a moment of clarity for both usually me and the inmate as well. What brings you in today? Uh, warrant. Warrant? What was the warrant for? Felony for heroin, cocaine, and methamphetamine distribution. So how'd they catch you? Were you doing something in an area you weren't supposed to be in, or what? Uh, I don't know. I guess so. You got some pills here. What are those pills? Uh, I'm not sure. My girlfriend gave to me. I'm not sure what they are for that's, sure. That's quite the girlfriend. So she just gave you a big little bundle of pills. You no, know, I'm supposed to be taking them to her, to my girlfriend. Mm, so where'd you get them from? From another person that gave them to me. But you don't know what they are? No, I do not know what they are. So why do you have all those little baggies? I do do jewelry, yes. Yeah, what do you do, like earrings? Beads. Beads? Necklaces. Exactly. Does he have any jewelry with him today over there? Or just, no, I don't, just but I the usually bags? do. I usually do have jewelry with me. Six, seven jewelry bags, and not a bead to speak of. Not a Swarovski crystal, nowhere, nothing. All right, grab your gear. Why don't you go ahead and have a seat in front of the TV? What was the name of the pills again? These are Suboxone or Buprenorphine. That's a Schedule Three narcotic synthetic opiate. Those pills are used for people coming off of methadone or opiate withdrawals. Correct. Yeah, and it's also, you know, users that aren't using it under the care of a physician. If it's got a street value, I'm not exactly sure how much, but enough of these can get get a high. It's like he had everything he needs to go ahead and petition him out a little bit and make maybe make a couple of dollars Absolutely. off of it. Not good. All righty. So quick question. Does your girlfriend use heroin or methadone? Yeah, she, she has a prescription for buprenorphine. For, 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 um, you, for those pills? Yes, yes. But you didn't say you knew what they were a little while ago. I, do, I didn't, but, when you, but I overheard the lady talking, and then I remember, recall that she has a prescription for those pills. So she has a prescription. So why are you bringing her those pills? Because I, had them, I, had, I accidentally had them on me. At the time. I accidentally had them on me at the time. Didn't you say somebody gave you those pills to give to her? Nobody gave them to me to give to her. I oh, so you weren't telling I, me the truth back then? I was at, well, I was, no, I, I, 
I had them on me by by accident. I How do you them. accidentally have pills well, I have, I have in a bag in your inner pocket? How do you accidentally well, I, do that? Well, I didn't. Even, I forgot. Okay, hey, let me help you out. She was she Michael. wearing your jacket at one point? She yes, actually she put was. them in there. She oh, was wearing my coat at one time. We both had the same jacket. Oh, the same color, we have, we have, the same size we have jacket. Two pair. And she we had black ones uh, and. And she, you took her jacket on accident, no, and that's why those no, were there. No, no, I don't know. Okay. I don't know about that. And so the drugs just happened to be in the jewelry bags, and there were extra jewelry bags no, with. No. You, right? They're her pills, man. Okay, gotcha. Honestly. All right. You're, you're okay. Nervous. I'm gonna come back and touch base with you in a little bit. You're making me nervous. I'm making you nervous. I'm about ready to cry. I'm about ready to cry. Huh? You're about ready to cry. We don't yeah. want that, do we? No. Okay, I, I, I'm gonna give you some time to compose yourself, and then I'll be back and talk to you in a little bit. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Hey, officer. Just curious if you're gonna wind up charging him for an introduction or a position. At this point, what I'm gonna be doing is taking it with me putting it in my property and letting the arresting officers know they're with our Drug and Vice Division. Let them know if they want to add charges, or maybe a DA will look at this and issue charges. Yeah, right. So I'm just going to book, book this into property and let them decide later. Gotcha. So remember when um, I was talking to you earlier, I said I wasn't sure what the officer was going to wind up doing with those pills that were found? This way over here, partner. Well, stop there. Well, he was only the transport officer. So he's going to write a quick report and send it to the arresting officers and leave that up to their discretion and find out what they want to do with it. So you'll know probably the next day or so if they're going to charge him. But man, you got to make better choices. And hopefully we won't be seeing you in here anytime soon. Okay, I hope. He just brought in a uh, subject that seems to be pretty intoxicated. What's going on, man? What do we got? Uh, we have somebody who was upset at somebody and threw some chicken at him and some <laughs> beef patties. <laughs> chicken and beef, huh? Yes. And yeah, he ended up picking up a two by four with nails on it, swung it at a lady and hit her in the hand. All right, so you guys are hitting with battery or? Aggravated battery. Aggravated battery. Aggravated battery. Yes. Any trespass? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, we'll get him out, we'll get him processed, and get him inside. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> nice to see you again. What's going on? I knocked on her beauty salon door. Someone came to the door. I said, I have some stuff I, I would like to offer you for a small donation. JJ Casey went and got a sword. A, a sword? Giant, a giant swam of samurai warrior sword. It was a samurai sword? Yeah. Holy cow, was she swinging it at you? She didn't swing it. Oh, okay. Who was swinging it then? Nobody? Listen, listen. You want to play jokes with me? No, I'm not I'm playing jokes. I'm trying to figure out what's going on I'm with I'm telling you. You won't listen. I am listening. You know, I was upset. Okay, you know. Then she went and grabbed the samurai sword. I did not lift a finger, one hand at them. Okay. All right, well, we're going to get your process in here, all right? You're going to cooperate with us or what? I hope it's a due process of, of the law and a uh, right. double jeopardy, bro. Okay, come on. You don't really Step on out here for me. And I have a right to dignity in the process of photosynthesis. Okay, relax, relax, relax. And I, I'm not, I didn't raise a finger to hit that lady. You go ahead and start removing all your jewelry, all right? This stuff won't come off, man. Would you going to cut my damn hands off? How many earrings do you have? I don't know. I went and I put this, picked this stuff off the side of the road. You pick stuff off the and side I, I of the road. I try to, I try to make jewelry out of it, and it, it's only, it's only a, a, an ambition, it's only an, an, an ambitious pursuit. I'm trying to make a couple of dollars. We're gonna step right over here where it says inmate shower. All right, we're gonna yeah, go ahead and change it out. Yes, 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 yes. This is all the stuff that was in his pockets. He had rocks in his pockets. No, I don't want that. He didn't want to throw the rocks, but he wanted no. to throw the chicken. Yeah, he wants to keep all these things. Okay, we'll put it in this property. So what, what was his deal? Like, why would, do you know why he was selling chicken or what? He Black wanted to buy drugs. He was, he was trying to sell chicken to, to buy drugs. Get, yeah, they didn't want to buy it, so he decided to throw it on the curb in front of this business and inside their business. Wonderful. Where'd the, uh, the two-by-four come into play? It was in his shopping cart that he pushes around. And right. so he went and got it and 
swung it at the lady and then Rikesley said that she had a samurai sword, which she didn't have. All right, guys, we'll see you later. All right, wonderful. I get to uh, inventory a bunch of rocks that uh, the gentleman thinks are very valuable. So I'll be here for the next probably five to 10 minutes describing all these rocks. So walk me through what happened again, because I didn't hear all of it. I was trying to build some, some meat I had gotten from the church. OK. And then she came out there with a giant uh, sword, a long sword, bruh. A sword, you know right. what a samurai sword is? I know what you're talking is? about, yeah, like like old, ancient time sword. And she, she threatened me to cut my head off. I was scared at that moment. So you're lucky to be alive right now. I damn sure am. All right. Well, come on over here. Let's go sit down and let's just be thankful we're alive. Right. This is a copy of your property receipt, and they all right? took my cigarette, my four dollars no. bag of cigarettes that lady did. No, they got it. They got it. Right. All right. All right, have a seat in the second or third row. All right, Joe, you'll be good, all right? You want to have a good story, huh? One lot. Every time he comes in, he has a good story. <laughs> Sounds like an average day in Sarasota for him. <laughs> and the doors open up, and they leave me outside. And they hand me my clothes, and, and the key to my ride. Now the night hits my face, and it brings me to life. Oh, Lord.